What's up YouTube fam? Today we've got a little shop tour and we're going to show you some odd bread and butter jobs that we get in. Let's see what the day brings. Welcome to my world. shoes guys worn them down quite a lot using a lot of walking on these so what we're going to be doing is putting a set of vibram heel tops just to extend the life of them keep them going for the guy all right First jobs are good. It's our new heels. Polished and shined. They're good to go. Right guys, this is our cylinder cutting machine. 
got all these type of keys. And then over here, next to that, we've got our mortise cutting machine, which cuts these type of keys. And our car keys cut using this one, which you'll see later on. This is for the old Ford Tibby keys. Don't do them very often these days. And another car key cutting machine as well. Right, so the second job of the day, we've got in a car key. What we're going to be doing for this is replacing the shell as all the buttons in the front have uh, broken through. And we're also going to be doing a new solder on the lock button to make it work again. So this here is our outsole stitcher. This is the one that you mainly see me using on the big restoration jobs. Um, fantastic piece of machinery, super old. I don't know, dates back to the 50s, 60s, something like that. These old machines, mechanical works, perfect. They just work. Keep them clean, keep them lubed up. They, they stitch through anything really. And this machine here is our Blake stitcher. This stitch is from the inside of the shoe for shoes that are different constructed. I've not really seen me use this a lot as most of the shoes that I get in are Goodyear welded so that's what the other machines used for. Next job we've got is a little engraving on a quake. I'm going to be popping a little date in the middle. So traditionally the quake which originated in the Scottish Highlands was used both for a cup of welcome and also when offering a farewell drink. The quake was originally made from primitive staved wood then later from horn or leather, eventually pewter and silver becoming popular as it became the favourite drinking cup throughout Scotland. Being derived from the Gaelic word quach, meaning shallow cup, the distinctive design has remained unchanged over the centuries, a shallow drinking bowl with two handles, colloquially known as lugs.
All right, so this is our finisher. This is where all the magic happens. Uh, it comes in handy for a lot of different things. We can rip the soles off using the rough band, smooth everything down using the smooth band here. At the sides we've got some cutters that um, were used for the edges and for trimming certain heels and certain soles. And then we've got our brushes here. Different colours allow us to put in some nice shine towards the end. Alright guys, we're just going to take a little five minute coffee break. thought I'd take this opportunity to tell you guys just a little bit about myself. So my name is Mark and you guys know me by Cobbler G. I'm 31 years old and I've got a beautiful daughter called Indy and a beautiful fiance called Natalie. You've probably seen those guys in previous uploads. So a wee bit more about my cobbler journey. I started just over three years ago and as soon as I stepped into the shop I absolutely fell in love with the craft wasn't something that I was planning to do, being a shoe repairer in my life. Uh, before this, I was studying audio engineering at university. Past that, got a degree, and with that, I was going around all of Scotland teaching DJing to disadvantaged kids. Great cause, great fun, loved every minute of it. Unfortunately, because of COVID, not being able to do it the last year and a half, but hopefully, when things start to open up as normal, we'll get back to it. Uh, I've been an avid rollerblader for almost 25 years or so, since about six years old. I'll pop up some clips of that now. Like I said, absolutely fell in love with the craft as soon as I got into the shop. Um, seeing how you can repair a pair of shoes that are ready for the bin, straight up to a brand new looking pair of shoes, ready for another life cycle. Especially when we live in this throwaway culture where it's buy cheap, chuck away, buy cheap, chuck away. Spend that little bit extra cash on a decent pair of shoes, they'll last you a lifetime. Alright guys, enough about me, let's get back to the shoes. Alright guys, let's get back to the shoes. So we've got another pair of Clark's shoes here. What we're going to be doing with these is a half rubber sole and a rubber heel. The guy wore the toes right down um, and all the sole was starting to peel away. Just a glued on construction, so not the best. So we're just going to pop a wee rubber half sole just to keep the life going with these. Right, we're going to prepare these for some soles. So this kind of material needs to be primed before. So we're just going to add some primer onto the heels, allow that to dry, and add on some plastic glue. Alright, so the new heels and the new soles are heating up in the heat lamp, just reactivating the glue on those, then we'll get them stuck to the shoes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jobs are good. New heels, new soles. Good to go, guys. All polished up. Ready for another shot. All right, guys. That's us done with another couple of projects. Another day, another dollar. Hope you like the shop tour and a little insight into our world and the uh, sort of odd jobs that we get in during the day. As always, thank you so much for watching. You guys are legends. Each and every one of you, mad respect to you. All right, guys. So until the next one, stay safe out there. I've been Cogger G. Peace.